Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor David Lynn. And last week, in the middle of the week, my lawyer got a call from the Crown Attorney. These are the courts. And they gave some interesting news. Just so you know, on June 4th, 2019, I was sharing the love and gospel of Jesus Christ. And I got arrested illegally and unjustly by a police officer that happened to be a member of the LGBT community. And it was very clear by the sticker on his, on his uniform. And everybody was in uproar. What did I do? Since that time, I got hate videos, hate mail, everything. It was a very stressful and emotional time and even a very expensive time. They kept adding charge after charge to me, and they would not let it go for an entire year. That's right. And so when my lawyer got that call, um, I was, uh, and they and she called me, I was expecting that they were going to now put uh, a new trial date because they set a five-day trial for me, a five-day trial for me preaching the gospel on a corner. That's how political this issue was, and that's why it was so expensive. That's why it was it was so uh, it was so blown up, and a lot of you just didn't understand that. But I did, and everybody that was awoke or uh, awake to the whole situation understood what was really going on it was all political it made no sense especially in north america where we have freedom of speech well she told me that the crown realized that they have no ground to convict me there was nothing that could be uh demonstrable as criminal and they're dropping all the charges and i was shocked i was shocked i was like you serious and like yeah all the charges are being dropped, all of them, all of them. And I said, is it, is it in stone? You know, should I tell people? So, yeah, you can tell people it's in stone. But the official court date is on Tuesday, which was today at 9 a.m. Um, so I was in the court, uh, and, um, and it's literally the, the case came before the judge, and they said the crown, the crown said, look, we've reviewed the case and there is nothing to convict David Lynn. So we're asking that all the charges be dropped. And lo and behold, all the charges have been dropped. Every single one of them. I'm a free man. I want to let you know that Jesus Christ reigns victorious over all matters, all affairs. The righteous may go through many afflictions. But the Lord delivers them from them all. So I want you to share this video. If you've been praying for me, if you were supporting me, if you were encouraging to me, I want you to share this video. And I even want you to share it to the haters' pages as well because some haters have been blasting me and, and saying, ah, good for you. This is the judgment of the Lord. No, this was the victory of the Lord. This was to show you that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That when the enemy comes with all his weapons and bombs and, and, and maligning and, and accusations, the Lord has the final say. Man might judge you. Man might persecute you. They might even throw you in jail. But Jesus Christ has your back as long as you're following him. So I just want to share a word to every person out there. Continue to share the gospel in season and out of season. Preach the word because we're coming into a day, and we already are in that day, where they will not endure sound doctrine. And as the witness of the gospel must go forth, every man must hear it before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, the coming of the Lord. And so today, I, I'm letting you know that I can walk into the area and have a Chick-fil-A. I can walk freely in the streets. There is no restrictions. My hands are not shackled. My feet are not chained down. I am a free man. All my charges have been dropped. And I want you to know that we're, 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 we're victorious as believers. We are victorious. This is a victory for all of us. This is a victory for freedom of speech, for civil rights. Christians don't have to be afraid to preach the gospel on any street corner in Canada. You know why? Because we pay our taxes too. We have rights and freedoms like every other person. And even if someone might not agree with you, someone might not believe the same thing as you, you have that right to stand on a street corner, even if it's at church in Wellesley, even if it's at Young in Dundas, even if it's at Young in Bloor, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
And the, and the funny thing is, is before my charge was dropped, the Muslims were granted right to proclaim their prayers over every part of Toronto. Are we going to arrest them too? Well, it's funny how they arrested Christians because the attack is against Christ. But even when the attack is against Christ, when they crucified him on the third day, he rose again. And I want to let you know that one year later, David Lynn is free. No longer, no longer chained, no longer bound. The funny thing is, on September 28th, we had a rally, civil rights are for Christians too. And our plan was to peacefully gather, look unto the Lord, and just proclaim the Lord because nobody should be barred from any street corner. But we did get barred illegally. Illegally. Three months later, it was a 90-day notice, and we sang... Jesus is coming for his own judgment is coming on the land and the COVID-19 hit. Now, is that a coincidence? Is it an irony? Well, I know, you know, I, I'm a humble guy and I don't wish death on any man. I wish that every man would be saved. But when you come against the people of God, it won't work out for you. You can take all your ammunition and fight and, and blast, but you know what? Christ will come through for all people his people. 2019 was a year of persecution against the church. In Hong Kong, Christians were being persecuted. In Iran, Christians were pe being persecuted. In Canada, Toronto, Christians were being persecuted. In Alberta, people like Arthur Pulowski. We have to stand for people like Arthur Pulowski, who's feeding the poor and preaching the gospel on the streets. He's getting ticketed and, and fined and, and arrested for sharing the gospel. This is not time for Christians to sit on the back, uh, on the bench and watch other Christians suffer. This is time to stand together and pray to repent and come before the Lord and proclaim the gospel now like ever before. This is a victory and whatever principality tried to stop the gospel God sent his angels to lock that principality or bind that principality up that he would not have his victory. Jesus has the victory, and I want you to know that today. Continue to preach the gospel. I'm a free man. All the charges are dropped. God bless you.